हेलो बच्चो सो लेट सी द्वेश्चन फिफ्टी टर्न सर्कुलर कॉइल हैज अ रेडियस ऑफ थ्री सेंटीमीटर इट इज केप्ट इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एक्टिंग नॉर्मल टू द एरिया ऑफ द कॉइल द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी इंक्रीज फ्रॉम जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फाइव टेस्ला इन टू मिली सेकेंड्स द एवरेज इंड्यूज ई एम एफ इन द कॉइल इज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन वोल्ट सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज सेवनटीन पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट थर्ड ऑप्शन इज वन सेवेंटी सेवन वोल्ट एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन सेवन वोल्ट so let's see the given data first of all so what are the given data number of turns as 50 having a radius of 3 cm so converting it to the meters so it comes out to be 0.03 meters okay it is a kept in a magnetic field which is acting normal to the area of the coil the magnetic field increases from so we have the initial magnetic field as 0.10 tesla and we have the final magnetic field as 0.35 tesla so delta b can be written as b final minus b initial solving it so 0.35 minus 0.10 so delta b goes out be 0.25 test then we have time interval as delta t as 1 or oh sorry 2 milli seconds so delta t can be written as 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 Seconds. Got it. Now we have to calculate the average induced EMF from the Faraday's law. We have this concept of the induced EMF as from the Faraday's. The induced EMF comes out to be delta phi by delta. This is the average induced EMF. Okay. This is your average induced EMF equals to delta phi by delta t. Now let's move on to the next page. E equals to delta phi by delta t. Just we know that phi is equals to n b a. Okay, so delta phi is number of turns remains constant, area remains constant, delta b. So just put the values e equals to n a delta b by delta t. So e comes out to be number of turns as how much? We have number of turns fifty. Into since this is a circular coil, so area is equals to pi r. Square. So the area can be written as pi into 0.03 square. So area is equals to 9 pi into 10 is to power minus 4. So just put the values of area 9 pi into 10 is to power minus 4 into delta b. Delta b is 0.25 upon time delta time uh, t or time interval is 2 into 10 is to power minus 3. Solving it further, so this can be written as uh, 45 pi. Into 10 to the power minus 3 into 0.25 divided by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. 10 to the power minus 3 to 10 to the power minus 3 get cancel out and solving it further, you will get the answer as 45 pi upon 8. Okay, so if you solve it further, you will get the value of 17.68, which can be approximately written as 17.7. Got it. Just solve this part, and you will get the value as the 17.68 volts, which can be approximately written as 17.7 volts. Which is your option number B? So option B is absolutely correct. I hope you got the concept for this question. All the very best.